I hope you can hear us. I hope you can hear me. I hope you can hear us. Oh, I'm just... Oh, okay. Give them please now a bag of clothes and I'll make sure within it I'll put all the different clothes to one side. The ones that are different than the ones he's used to wearing. Sure. I'll take his worries into consideration and file the mind form of foot twisting. One foot twisting over one. That cold white paw hung over the branch. The cold, thin, black, casual tie. Notch twice above the waist. God, no, he, he can't really dress himself, can he? And you remember how he used to be able to pick the right shirt and then run and love that frisbee and run and throw and throw? You ever curl up high above a sunset that way in the high window? Tears on the face that are so frequent you never bother wiping them off no more. Oh, I can't afford the ache of the sky. His loveliness burns every time there are too many clouds and there's some sun to have go down. But topically sure, if you could please just hand him a bag of clothes, send him on his way. His need reminds me of my creased heart and I don't want to have to be around that kind of reminder. Would you like to freeze me, Bob? No, I'm okay. I squashed them warm. Ready? Yeah. Even though Descartes never came up with an adequate explanation for how the mind interacts with the body, there were other people who tried to there were other people who tried to explain how it happens. Nicholas Malbrach came up with a theory called occasionalism. He got around the problem of interaction by saying there is no necessary relation between the two substances which are, of which we are composed. Occasionalism says that there is no interaction between the mind and the body, but every time the mind seems to interact it is God intervening that produces appropriate material response. This idea is possible for anyone who believes in God, but it does seem but it does seem to raise a lot of questions about how much we are in control of our own lives. I often see you in the passage and so I thought I'd write to you. I know your name from where you chalked it. You appear a fine fellow. You always make me wonder how you would treat a girl. 
and I always conclude my wandering with fine and right. Today I'm carrying bananas to give to the office workers I work with. Just by the way of this little hello, I'll hide a banana for you nearby. Find it if you can. Best Millie. Like the history of